Chances are by now you've seen the highlights of Saturday's non-select Division I state championship game between Barb and West Monroe, where Barb won 10-4 following a nine-run seventh inning. But what you might not have seen is what has come from the game since then. It all started when West Monroe head coach Wade Simino went on the radio on Friday before Saturday's game saying they wanted Barb all year because many said their 2022 state championship wasn't legitimate since they didn't play Barb. Then before Saturday's game, Simino wrote ourselves on the opponent line of their lineup card, which Glenn Cicchini and Barb took as disrespect. And after the game, words were exchanged. And when I talked to Cicchini after the game ended, here's what he had to say. And I respect them. This is it's a great day. I respect them completely. Wade Seminole's a great coach. I've known Wade for 30 years. He's just trying to fire up his team. You know, uh, hey, after the game, I probably shouldn't have said anything to him, really. But, I, I, you know, I'm a competitor, man. So I'm going to say what I'm going to say. But, um, you know, um, they won it. You know, they're the state champions last year. And, and they won it. And we would never try to take away that from anyone. That was Coach Cicchini after Barb won their 12th state championship, but earlier today, Coach Simino went back on the radio to discuss what happened on Saturday. Instead of just taking his victory, you know, the old American Legion say, keep a stout heart and defeat, keep a sound soul, clean mind, healthy body, uh, pride under in victory. They can't do that. And he had to smear it right in our face. And it's something that we took personal and, uh and like I told Fox on his show yesterday, you know, I wanted to punch him in his throat. I really did. If Barb's lucky enough to make it back, we'll 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 be waiting on him. All next right. Year at the end.